So it's been an insanely busy day. This is an old tank top, so I'm kind of proud of that. That's a good moment. Uh, but I wanted to say uh, I worked today and I did some artwork. I finished those birds I told you about. I want to show you those. Uh, but let's go through my day. Uh, my day went okay as planned. That was good. After work, went to County Market and uh, got a few things there at County Market. Then went over to eat at Arby's, got a few things there, and uh, the manager has known our family forever, so I said, why haven't you made me Facebook friends? So now we're Facebook friends, so that's pretty awesome. So um, came home, we ate, I put away the groceries, which I got some tea from my mom. I mistake By mistake, last time I got this diet tea and I was like, there's no way I'm drinking that stuff. So you can drink it all you want. Because I know how much she loves Diet Pop. So I thought, you know, Diet Tea would be right up her alley. And she loves it. So that more power to her. But it's on sale right now for a dollar, I want to say 48 49 over there at County Market with a penny pincher. So we got her three of them. So that was a cool thing, right? And I got my salad dressing. I'm so excited about this. I uh, had my little salad tonight after we ate which is my, my little treat to myself now is salad. I'm turning into a rabbit, y'all. My ears will be coming back soon. Anyway, um, I got my artwork done today, and I'm very self-conscious, and I don't think that I did that well, so I'm not going to post them on my Instagram. So for those of you who get to see it here on um, YouTube, this is a treat, okay, because these won't make it to... Instagram fame because I don't like them. <laughs> I'm being honest. It's just not my favorites. So there we go. Um, there was some questions regarding last night's questions. They said, are you really serious that if it ever came down to you or a baby, you would say you would give up your life for the baby? And here's my response to that. Absolutely. I'm serious. You got to think about what I went through it, I had all that reworking of my plumbing, if you will. And to me, I always have wanted to be a mom. At wife first, mom second. And to me, it's like going, if I were to achieve that goal of being a wife, and I was to achieve that goal of being a mom, I would feel like I was letting him down. First and foremost, if we were to have that miracle, beyond miracles of achieving conception, and right here in this old belly, I would be like so over the moon happy, A, because you got to think about all the cysts I had removed, how I was wedged, the, the hours that in, in recovery, let alone, you know, the going, undergoing it to want that. So if it was to come to that, I would say, yes, the baby comes first and I come second. And everybody's like, well, then would you be okay with someone else raising that kid? You got to think that if I wasn't here and the kid was here, A, he would have to let my mom and nieces around it, my grandpa too, uh, you know, and he, I, I couldn't see him being a, a, one of those guys to hold grudges and he would probably be okay with it. He wouldn't hold the death against the baby. That was another question. I think that if it was to ever happen, that it would be a blessing and not a curse I look at what Joey and Rory had. Remember how she was one of my biggest, when she got pregnant, I think at age 40 and 41 was when we lost her, I want to say, either 41 or 42. Anyway, she was a late term pregnancy and people had talked to her about that and she did not want to terminate her pregnancy. And she had a little Indiana, who's a blessing. And I think that if that was to happen to me, it would be the biggest blessing and I would look at it that way and be just like that's what God's plan was for me and I would be accepting of it I wouldn't be holding a grudge and being like why did this happen to me late in life why didn't this happen to me sooner of course everybody asks that question you know but you just got to be going with the flow and that's where you go in life the reason I work out now is not only for my health because I'm pre-diabetic. We all know that with PCOS. But, you know, so I can maintain a healthy weight. Not shorting my, myself with what I eat, but yet not 
get eating too much, being somewhere in the middle. That's something that's very hard to adjust to, very hard to want to learn and, and accept, and very hard for myself to feel comfortable yet attractive. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not the bombshell that I once was. I probably am the shell of the bomb, if you want the truth. But, you know, I'm me. Quirky, fun, energetic, country music, listening to Hallmark movies and, and you know, Harlequin novels I read, me. And I think that's the best part of me, is that, as I learned on Married at First Night tonight, there are so many levels to a person, you know. I think that I bring so many levels to the table that if it was to ever happen, it wouldn't be just so focused on, you know, you know, got to get down that aisle, got to get that kid in that belly, you know. And, you know, adoption is not, you know, out of the picture because somebody asked me, are you now gung-ho against adoption? No, because kids need good, loving homes. Just saying that if I was to be blessed with a child that I would not, and it was a life or death situation, I would not want it to be me and the child not make it. I would want it to be the child makes it and I don't because the child has a chance at living a longer, healthier life, hopefully knock on wood, and would not have any problems. And if somebody said, well, what if the child would have complications? To me, a child is a child and they're never a complication, whether it's a health complication or anything like that. And then somebody asked me, well, what if your room says otherwise? I think also, you know, it has to be a talking point with when you're in a relationship. But right now, personally, for me, I just see it as if I was, and if that was the situation, kid comes first, I come second. Now, the child, of course, the dad would get a say, and we would probably have to talk it over. But right now, if, with it, if, if the situation was just me with a kid, the situation would be, which it's not, but if, okay. I would say the kid comes first. There's so many people question me on that today. It's amazing. Anyway, um, some artwork I want to show you. Now, remember those birds? I finished them. I'm not very fond of it. There was just too much leaves in it. I didn't like all the leaves, but to me, leaves should be green. So I put in a bunch of different greens because you need to have leaves when you have this type of situation. So here it is. I don't think it was that grand, so I'm not taking an Instagram of it. You guys are probably going to be the only ones to see it. Yay! This next one, <laughs> I'm going to try to explain it because it's. I always feel like my, ex, my artwork needs an explanation sometimes. This one, there was a picture of a road and two hearts. So I thought of the two hearts as like a stop sign and a, a yield sign. And then of course the road had to be road colored. And then they show an RV and it says, find joy in your journey. And I thought of find between a mixture of a tiger and a butterfly. Don't ask me why. It's just what popped in my mind. And joy had to be a bunch of different colored dots to express the joy. And then of course they put another one of those hearts in there. Hearts seem to be all over the place. And then journey had to have the same striped version of find, but yet the word journey had to have the dots to represent the joy that you find in the journey, which is life. So I hope that gives you a good explanation. Again, it's not one of my favorites, but here is my metallic ice blue RV finding joy in the journey. Okay, what am I working on now? Well, if you know me, which most of you do if you're watching this, um, one of my favorite books and favorite Hallmark movies is Unleashing Mr. Darcy. And in one of my color happy books that I have, they showed a picture today of a Chinese lantern. Now, I've never had Chinese food, never had that experience because Grandpa's like a World War II veteran and he is gung-ho about not eating anything foreign. So, um, when I saw this lantern, the very first thing that came in my mind when, is when Donovan and Elizabeth is having dinner at this Chinese restaurant. And the only reason I knew it was a Chinese lantern is Donovan, Donovan, I'll say it in a minute, not Donna Fun, but Donna Bun with a V instead of a PH, references one of the Chinese lanterns hanging. 
And I was like, oh, so what, that's what that's supposed to be. And I'm working really hard on this. I want it to have the red that you see and the, I want this to kind of look like it's lit up and I want these stars to be like really golden. So I'm probably going to put a dark blue background behind this Chinese lantern and maybe it'll bring me some good luck. Speaking of good luck, I'm cooking on Sunday. I'm so excited. Cousin Penny confirmed with us tonight. She will be here. Uh, one of my friends said to me tonight, have you ever had a surprise visitor for one of your meals? Never had that happen. Don't look for it to happen. But as grandpa would say, there's always room at the table because I cook too much. We're going to have fried apples. Mom's bringing corn on the cob. Uh, and there's plenty of tea. I've got like four jugs of tea right now. Um, plus we're going to have, you know, diet Pepsi, water, and grandpa's RC. Well, that's kind of his and Kinsey has her Mountain Dew. But other than that, there's always plenty of food. Man, which will be on the table. We always eat about one o'clock if anybody's curious. Um, but I don't look for us to have anybody extra. Um, I did want to mention, I just dumped my pens over. Where's it at? Where's it at? honorable mention before I do my review of Married at First Sight, which yes, I watched tonight's episode. Why am I so late coming to you and why will there not be a workout? I guess I'll just have to mention that next time. Um, I'm coming to you so late because by the time we had supper, I fed all the animals, I came back inside, remembered that AEW wrestling was on. So yes, I had to watch that. Then I turned over to uh, married at first sight. Now there's some good news and some of you might well have to remind me on this. Married or AEW wrestling will be on Saturday, August 22nd, but they won't be on next Thursday. Now I hope this is just a one week thing, but the reason they're not going to be on is something to do with the NBA, whatever. So that kind of helps out my married at first sight, the USA edition. I'll get to see it the first time and not have to wait for the rerun, which by the way, lifetime that whole married at, or marrying a millionaire or something like that, that's a stupid show. Just saying. Unfortunately, I've had to set through two episodes of it. I don't like it, and I wish it wasn't on TV. Just saying. But um, got the Married at First Sight notes. We've got that. We've got a book review to do. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and uh, wanting to know my take on situations and everything. That's enlightening to me and encouraging so thank you um there's been relationship questions that i'll get to in due time but tonight i'm running behind the schedule all the way it is so let's get to show notes book review and you know i never do odd number videos so i'll probably have to do a singing video as well stay tuned